and today we will understand uh, what is a super keyword in java so let's see one example here and then we will observe uh, what is happening uh, in this example so for that uh, let's create one base class and in that we are constructing a base class constructor which doesn't take any parameter here and inside that uh, we are simply printing a message and now we will drive one class from base class and here also we are declaring one derived constructor and this also doesn't take any parameter and let's print a message over here and now what we will do um, we will create an object of uh, derived class let's name it obj and now uh, when we'll execute this program so as we all know that uh, our output will be a base class constructor followed by a derived class constructor right as you can see here and now here uh, we are creating a drive class object so that makes sense that uh, you know it will definitely call a uh, drive constructor but now the question is uh, how this base class constructor is getting called it is obvious that if it is getting called then something might be happening internally so what is that thing okay now let's make it easy so what i'll do um, in first line of the drive class constructor i will write this super call and now if you'll execute this then you will see the same output so based on that now you can say base class constructor is getting called just because of this line so that's exactly happens you know internally even though if you will not declare uh, this line over here then what compiler does is uh, once we'll compile this program then the compiler will insert a super keyword like this silently over here and it will insert super here as well so when the program gets executed then it will see this line first and he knows that you know we need to call the base class constructor first then the call will go to the base class and as soon as the base class constructor is uh, will get called then it will get to know that it has to call super class of the base class and what is the super class of the base class so it is a object class because of in java any class will get extended from object class okay so in this case it will not be wrong if you will say that you know uh, we are calling three constructor one is the object class constructor second is a base class constructor and third is derived class constructor and now let's make a little changes over here so let's introduce one more uh, parameterized constructor over here uh, which will take uh, one integer as an argument so it will be a parameterized base class constructor and similarly we'll do for the drive class as well and the message would be parameterized derived class constructor so let's remove this and while creating a derived object we'll pass one integer over here and now let's run this program so in the output now you can see that uh, definitely it will call parameterize uh, derived uh, class constructor uh, but from there it is calling base class constructor and the reason being uh, again the same here compiler will insert silently a super keyword here and here same case in base class constructor as well so what is happening here the first line uh, will get executed is this line number 27 right just because here the parameterized constructor will get called and now as soon as it will look into uh, this line so it knows that okay it has to call um, a constructor which is defined in, inside the base class which doesn't take any parameter you know as an argument so it will call this constructor so we don't have to mention this uh, as uh, you know this is a compiler job compiler will insert this keyword uh, silently but now the question is what if 
you wanted to call a parameterized constructor of the base class. So in that case, you have to mention uh, this keyword in your program explicitly and while calling it, you have to pass a parameter like this. And now if you'll execute this program, then you can see uh, the first is parameterized base class constructor followed by parameterized drive class constructor. So from this example, it is pretty much clear that super keyword is a reference to the base class uh, through which we can call uh, the base class constructor uh, anytime. And now let's create one scenario which will have a problem and then we will see uh, how this super call can solve uh, that particular problem. Okay, so for that, uh, let's create one class called sum and what this class will do, uh, this will take two values and it will store that value uh, into a private member variable. So let's define two private member variable. Let's name it A and B. And in this constructor, which will accept uh, two parameter, let's name it int x and y. And this class will have one method called addition, okay, which will uh, return the submission of these values a and b. And let's assume that uh, you know we have defined this as in final. And now we will create a object of some class type. Let's name it as and here we are passing value 5 and 6. So this is pretty simple that we are adding to value 5 and 6. And if you execute this program, then you can see value is 11. Right? This is fine. And now let's assume uh, that um, uh, some more requirement has come apart from this addition. Let's say they wanted to perform uh, operations like uh, multiplication or uh, subtraction on this variable as well so let's call this operation class and for multiplication and subtraction he has to deal with these variables as well so to store those variables he also will define private member variable let's name it x and y And it also has a parameterized constructor. Right? And here now you will see that uh, it will say there is no default constructor available in sum. It is throwing message because uh, it will expect to execute this line, which will call default constructor of base class. Right? And as we know that as soon as we will declare parameterized constructor for any class, so that time a uh, compiler will not insert any default constructor, right? We have to explicitly create that. So here let's create one default constructor. And then let's say it has one method call called multiplication, which will return value of x into y. And now let's create uh, one more object over here, operation time object. And here we are passing same value 5 and 6. And here we are printing multiple value of these two variables. Let's execute this. Definitely you will see that multiplication value of this 5 and 6 which is 30. So 30 has been printed over here. Okay. So, so far there is no problem. Uh, but the problem occurs when we will try to perform additional operation through this operation object. Let's try to do that. So here we are performing addition through this operation object. So what do you think? What will print? So you can see that it is printing zero over here, right? Which is not our expected output. So why it is happening? So let's get back and see. So it inherited this method inside this operation class, which is fine. But if you see that implementation of this method, 
then it is adding a plus b this variable which is a private to this sum class and how this variable is getting initialized through constructor right that means to perform this operation we have to initiate this variables and that is possible only if we will call this constructor so in order to solve this problem what we have to do is very simple we have to call parameterized constructor of the sum class using our super keyword like this and here we will pass value of a and b and now let's run and see the output so now you can see our addition value is 11. So, so far we have understood uh, what is the importance of the super keyword, you know, in terms of uh, calling base class constructor, right? But this is not the only thing for which we can use a super keyword. There is something more um, also. So, uh, to understand that, uh, let's get back to our whiteboard. So, what we have seen so far. So, we have created uh, one derived object. Within that, we had base object, and within that, we have object object. Right? So this object is a class object. So so this derived object we can refer uh, with this keyword. So this will refer to object itself, and to refer its base object it will have keyword super so there is nothing wrong if you say that you know we can use this keyword uh, to access a public private uh, or protected member or methods of a derived uh, class and at the same time uh, we can use this keyword to access any public or protected member or methods of this class if we have any member variable x then if you use this dot x that means it will refer to this variable similarly if we call this method to a string then it will work fine because to a string is defined inside this object class which will be protected type and because of inheritance uh, this will have access to this method as well so this is a one way to access any public or protected member or method of the base class we can access any public or protected member of a base class members uh, through a super keyword as well so if you will do this super dot x so this will refer to this variable as well similarly if you will do super dot to string so it will access the method which is defined inside this object class now this will bring to question uh, if that is a case then why we are having a, a super keyword additional right if this keyword is doing all the job then why we need a super keyword over here so this concept comes uh, handy if we have a duplicates you know member or method defined inside the derived class so let's say if we have public int x and then if you will execute this line this dot x so instead of accessing this one it will refer to this variable x and at the same time if you wanted to call this variable this x then we have to use super dot x so normally this phenomena we call it as in member hiding similarly uh, we can hide a method as well so if we have defined some method called fun over here and if you are implementing the same method name over in drive class so as soon as we do that then we will hide the implementation of this fun which has uh, defined inside the base class so if you call uh, this dot fun then it will always refer a function which has been defined uh, inside the derived class okay so let's understand this uh, through our example so let me clean this code Okay, so now we have one uh, method defined inside base class and the implementation over here is uh, printing a message. So let's say 
who method of base class and then we will extend one class from base which will implement uh, the same method foo and uh, the implementation uh, we have here is foo method of derived class and now let's create one more public method here called display and this display method we will call from our main class okay so let's create one object so as of now we have not uh, implemented anything uh, in the display uh, so now let's do that so let's see what output we'll get if i'll write this dot foo so you can see uh, it is calling foo method of derived class but now let's write this super dot foo and if you'll execute then you can see in the output that this foo is getting called right which is defined inside the base class and because of this line similarly if we have a member variable int x let's say value is 5 here and if you have same member variable defined inside derived as well let's say it has value 12 and inside display uh, let's print that value of x and now it will print uh, 12 and if you do this super dot x then it will print 5 and as this is a public a member variable so we can change uh, the value of this x from here so to do that we can use this super dot x and let's say we are assigning 15 over here and now if you execute then you can see the value of x would be 15 right so if i conclude uh, this interview question then I would say super keyword uh, comes into existence, uh, you know, when we extend any class through which we can access a base class object variable or method. And of course, uh, we can access the constructor of the base class too. So that's all guys uh, for today. I hope you like this video and please comment uh, your suggestion if you have any. Do you like when we uh, write a piece of code line by line or you wanted us to, uh, you know, write that piece of code first and then expand over it so whatever it is just uh, comment and uh, let us know and if you have not subscribed our channel so please do that just because we will keep uploading video like this uh, on daily basis so thanks again for watching us and see you in next video